Hey everyone, this is Bob, Bob Minion. I hired him to help me. It's supposed to be hardworking, but isn't. Maybe he just doesn't like baking. If you're wondering why Bob is such a mess, um, you can see him in action when he was helping me make a My Little Pony cake. Click the link below in the description. Check out the video because cake is magic. Bob, on the other hand, is not magic. Definitely not magic in the kitchen. But Bob is cake, and it took a lot of magic to make him. I've created Bob using my luscious chocolate cake, yellow buttercream, chocolate ganache, and all of his decorations are done in fondant and gum paste. Let's get started. I begin by removing my three eight inch round chocolate cakes from their pans, as well as the chocolate cake that I baked in an eight inch round bowl. I then use a ruler and a serrated knife to level the cakes. I do have a video tutorial on how to do that. If you wanna see it, you can click the link below. This time, I'm not cutting my cakes in half horizontally, but I will cut the bowl cake in half because it is quite thick. I'm gonna begin to assemble this cake in two parts, which I like to do often. So I'll take two of those eight inch round layers and layer them with simple syrup and chocolate ganache. Simple syrup is just what it is, it's simple syrup. It's one part water, one part sugar, boiled and cooled completely. I douse my cakes in it, it keeps them nice and moist. And then I'm gonna take the other layer and the bowl cake, and I'm gonna layer those with simple syrup and yellow buttercream. So I've chosen to fill the bottom with ganache and then the top with yellow buttercream because ganache is, is stronger than buttercream. I need Bob to be sturdy. He's quite, you know, he's plump. And it's actually cool because your guests can have two different choices of filling on the same cake. Bob is versatile. To shape Bob's very curvaceous bottom. So I'm just gonna do that by rounding out uh, the ganache filled layers. I actually placed uh, a five inch board on top and then carved down from that board. Just all the way around. Oh, your arm is almost in the way. Now I need to crumb coat this cake in its entirety. Then I need to stack these two cakes together to make one bob. So I flip over the ganache filled cake so that the rounded part is from the bottom up. Then I dowel that cake at a board in the middle. This board is about right here. A lot of you ask and are very concerned about the use of dowels and boards in a cake. Yes, you must use them because cakes will collapse. It would be like going to an architect and saying, can you build me a house but don't put four walls in it? The answer's no. You don't have to be at all concerned about eating the board. You actually won't be able to cut through it with your knife. And the cool thing is, because Bob is divided in half, you'll get great portions and great sized slices when you cut him, rather than this giant slice that would only fit on a platter. So you can cut half your cake, remove the board, you can see the dowels, remove the dowels, and then cut the other half of your cake. And then I add the other cake on top, which is the one eight inch layer and the bowl. My bowl ended up being the perfect shape for Bob's gorgeous bald head. Nice and smooth and rounded. Right, Bobby? Oh, he doesn't like being called Bobby. That's the one thing he has said to me. And it was in some weird language. I had to put it through Google Translate. I really want Bob to be nice and secure. He's got a lot of work to help me with. So I'm gonna run one dowel right through the middle of him. I ice Bob one more time, try to get him as smooth as possible, and then chill the cake once again. It's time to cover Bob in fondant. I used a combination of Wilton lemon yellow and Wilton golden yellow to get Bob's beautiful skin tone. I decided to cover Bob in two parts because he has this handy little band for his goggles 
so that will hide any seams. So first, I measure his circumference. He told me not to share his measurements with you. He was hoping to be a little further ahead on his diet. I roll out a piece and wrap it all the way around Bob. And then I tuck it under and smooth it all the way around his body and trimmed right here underneath where this band is. For the top half of Bob, I rolled out another piece of yellow fondant, draped it over his head, smoothed it out, and trimmed it where it met the other piece of fondant. Time to recreate Bob's overalls. Luckily, I didn't have to make several outfits for Bob because he only wears overalls. Um, Bob and all his friends just wear overalls. Overalls are back. They are trending. And I think minions have something to do with that. So I started by wrapping a band of blue fondant all the way around Bob and then making myself a template to cut out this shape that you see here, which is the front part of his overalls and his two pockets. And I use that template once again to cut out the back part of his overalls. And I just trimmed it nicely, nicely at the seams, and then added stitching all along to complete the look of his overalls. know the name of that tool again. So it's a little leather tool. I bought it in a leather shop and it perforates and it looks like stitching on jeans. Very important detail I can't forget. I need to add Bob's pocket. This is where minions keep everything. In this front pocket. And then I made sure to save two bands of the blue fondant so that I could add his straps later on once he has arms. Next, I roll out Bob's band to hold up his very important goggles. I just rolled out some black fondant and I cut it about an inch wide and then I use a sculpting tool to make an indent all throughout the whole middle. Make sure to place that band right over his seam and then no one will be the wiser. Now his band is in place. Bob is ready for some goggles, and so am I. You like the lower or higher jet? Now it looks like I have no nose. Can you split the difference? There we go. Wow. <laughs> Here on How to Cake It, we make sure to get authentic minion goggle placement. This is very important for us. It's a good thing I have a nose to hold up these goggles. Bob, how do your goggles stay up? I feel like I should be scuba diving. This is ridiculous. For the main part of Bob's goggles, these two round cylinders, I had to make those days in advance. And what I did is I colored some, I feel ridiculous. Okay, I can do this. I colored some gray gum paste. No, I colored some gum paste gray, and then I cut out strips and I wrapped them around some stainless steel containers that I had. First, I coated those containers in shortening so that the cylinders would come off once they were dry, and I let those dry for a few days. And before they were fully dry, I actually took a pin and made marks through the cylinder. On the other side, I made about eight marks so that I could insert the floral wire that I used to stick these goggles into Bob. Bob, how do you wear these? No wonder minions are so silly. I mean, do you even like, hold on. Next, I'm gonna work on sculpting Bob's arms and his hands and his feet. Look at his little feet. Uh, most of us have to go to the gym to try and sculpt our arms, but not Bob. He just needed my help. There's not much definition in his arms. 
their, their yellow twigs. For Bob's right arm, I softened out the edge, which would be like his shoulder. And then I cut it nice and sharp. I used a little bit of piping gel, just pressed it into the cake. So I moved on to his left arm, this one here. I rolled out some yellow fondant and then I took a dowel and coated that dowel in piping gel and then I wrapped the yellow fondant around the dowel because I knew he needed this arm to extend to hand me my towel. Then I began to sculpt Bob's hands, which are cute, but minions only have like three chubby fingers. So I just started with a ball of black fondant and started to sculpt his wrist and his made two cuts and started to sculpt the three chubby fingers. And, and I tried to place his hand sort of in his pocket. And then I added the left arm. When I trimmed the left arm, I left some extra dowel. And so that dowel went right into Bob and is nice and secure in the cake. And the fact that this is actually under the cake board makes it even more secure. Because even if it were to start to pull down, that board would stop it from ripping right up through the cake. And then he can finally have straps on his overalls because now I know where to place them. So I get my blue fondant back out. I cut out two straps. I add the stitching and then I place it from the front to the back, again with a little piping jelly. And then I added these little buttons, which are just cut out of black fondant with a circle cutter. And then I made another circle indent. And I cut four holes and I just took a little bit of blue fondant and rolled a thin little tube and placed it inside the holes. It looks like thread. And then I moved on to his feet, which are adorable. I attached his feet also with some piping jelly. I have seen a lot of minion cakes where the legs extend out and then you see his feet. But I really felt that that was wrong. Because if you see a standing minion, they have the shortest, sorry, I'm sorry, but they have the shortest legs ever. So I felt like if they were sitting, their feet would just poke out because they would be sitting on their legs. I need to recreate Bob's gorgeous eyeballs, eyeballs, <laughs> Bob's gorgeous eyeballs and his two different colored eyes. So I rolled out some white fondant kind of on the thick side and then I tapered it down into like a slight little dome so it's not just flat. And for his pupils, I cut out a little black circle of fondant and then a little white circle of fondant with a hole in the middle. And then I used one of my flower cutters to just indent and make marks in the pupil to give because Bob has deep eyes. And then I painted his pupils using Wilton Moss Green and Wilton Ivory. Time to complete Bob's goggles. So what I need to do is paint them silver. I'm gonna begin by rubbing shortening onto the cylinders that I had previously made and dried out of gum paste. Then what I can do is just take my silver luster dust and brush it on and it will adhere and stick to the shortening and look nice and lustrous. And then I needed to roll out some more of my gray gum paste so that I could create a band at the base of the goggles and as well as roll out some and cut out circles and create a band at the front of the goggles. And then I used a strip cutter to cut out a few strips and cut them into little squares. And they're just these little, I guess, rivets that go around their goggles. First, I place the silver cylinders of the goggles onto Bob's face. Placing the goggles on to begin with is quite tricky. As you know, I marked the cylinder um, with holes and then I placed a shorter piece of floral wire in each hole. And then I lined the goggle up and sort of pressed into Bob so I could see where all the wire should go. And then I placed some longer strands of floral wire, which were about three inches, into the goggle and lined them up on Bob and then pressed the whole goggle into his face. And why you need to be careful is because you want the wire to press into Bob and not out of your goggles. Then I pushed his eyeballs inside 
added the back bands, and then I added the front circles and the little rivets and the end pieces to complete the goggles and just touch up with silver anywhere that it might have come off. Bob's mouth is the final touch. I just drew myself a template using circle cutter, drew some little teeth, and then I cut and then I cut out the main part of the mouth from a black piece of fondant and his teeth from some white fondant, assembled them, and then smacked them on his face. Now Bob's happy. Bob is all finished, he looks great. Well, actually, he doesn't look that great. He looks a mess, but I had no part in that. That's Bob's doing when he was trying to help me make my My Little Pony cake. Bob, the only thing you got right is handing me the towel, which now you're overdoing. I don't need a towel anymore. We made the cake, we ate the cake. I don't need a towel. And this towel's messy, do the laundry. Bob, you look good. But you know what happens next on How to Cake It, don't you, Bob? Oh, you knew it, Bob. You saw what happened to Rainbow Dash. You thought you were safe? No cake is safe on How to Cake It. You are tasty, Bob. Mmm. Mmm. Minions are good for something. And it's not making My Little Pony cakes. Are you hungry, Bobby? Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Yeah, I can call you Bobby now. What are you gonna do about it? Your cake. <laughs>